there has been times, uh, like when I first started, I didn't think that this was going to, to take off. Um, when I opened up stitches, I knew that I had a good thing going though because I was doing custom pieces for the DJs and so forth. And I'll never forget I had a friend. Um, I told him, I said, Joe, man, I'm making $600 a week right now. I said, when I get to $1,000 a week, I'm out of my basement. Uh, and I got to $1,000 a week and I moved from out of my basement, got me my own little spot where I was sewing at, and I never looked back. I talked to a good friend of mine, another friend of mine who's um, well known in the Atlanta area and I went and showed him a store I was thinking about opening, another no-name store. He says, man, you know, we did that. They're calling you this dish doctor around town. Why don't you open up a place where you could do sewing and people can come and get some sewing done? And I was like, dude, man, I'm a designer, man. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to play me, you know what I'm saying? The stitch doctor came out right there. I guess that's when I noticed it, like, oh. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, I ain't about to be sitting up here being no tailor, man. You messed up my title, you know? I'm Tony Dennis from No Name, the designer. And uh, he was like, well, you could be Tony Dennis, the designer, but hey, if you want to eat, dude, you know what I'm saying? Get that everyday lunch money, that everyday this money, and meet some different people, man, coming in that door, try tailoring. I had to knock myself on the head a couple times, and uh, it worked out, man. I, I took his advice. We open up stitches, um, doing alterations, uh, custom clothing, embroidery, and so forth. And of course, we incorporated the no-name factor in there with the t-shirts. And uh, man, it went from, I'm thinking it's gonna be slow, to immediately took off. It's a, it's a big time um, rapper here in the city called Future. Um, his stylist came to me and wanted me to do some stuff for him. I started doing stuff for him, Future, and them loved it. Um, they start rocking it. Rocco and all of them just rappers who mad up for rappers. T-Pain, um, Kid Capri, Jazzy Faye, you know. So, you know, so they just start doing a lot of different stuff for a lot of different people. And then all of a sudden, next thing I know, I get a call saying that you was highly recommended to do uh, a movie. And I was like, a movie? It was like, yeah, man, you know, we want to have you on set to do something for uh, um, this project called Three Could Play That Game. I was the costume supervisor on that project um, with Vivica Fox and all of them and I, I, I was really challenging because I'm still thinking of that young guy, Tony from Buffalo, who wasn't too studious. And now I find like, oh, okay, you know, I'm making it, you know, and I'm making it by being the doctor. Talk, professional women discussing topics ranging from career advancement down to sex and relationships. Finally, a look into the minds of women that we can all be proud of. Be sure to watch We Need to Talk on HeSpeaksSoWell.com.